Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite. Bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. Have you ever had an outsized reaction to something and gotten stuck there? Sometimes it's knowing the simplest things that can get us through that. I was talking with a colleague, and she told me that she was exactly going through that. She had sent an email out to a bunch of people she was going to have a meeting with the following day and let them know that later that same day she was going to send them an agenda. And in the afternoon when she was getting ready to put together that agenda, she opened her email and saw that someone else who was also a part of that meeting had sent out an agenda for the meeting. And her reaction was, didn't she see my email? Didn't she know I was going to do that? Is she just ignoring me? What ended up happening is that this triggered for her a reaction that people don't see what she's doing, don't understand her contributions, don't listen to her recommendations, and she's invisible. When you're in that kind of swirl, Here's something that will help. I call it the two questions. Question one, what's the data? And in this instance, the data was she had told everybody that she was going to send an agenda, and then someone else had sent an agenda instead. Question number two is, what am I making the data mean. And in her instance, it was making the data mean that people were ignoring her and weren't paying attention to her. And she was feeling less than. The next time this situation happens to you, you're having an outside reaction, ask those two questions. First, what's the data? And then, what am I making the data mean? Because a lot of times what we'll find when we focus on these things is that we are adding all kinds of reactions and judgments and assumptions to something that aren't really supported by what's actually happened. We're bringing our own meaning to this. And a lot of times it's negative meaning. When you're having an outside reaction, ask those two simple questions. Because number one, it will make you less prone to react in an outsized way to the people who are involved in just the data, who are probably not thinking all of those negative swirl things that you are. And second, it will allow you to have communications with those people that are less judgmental. And that's a great step to making you the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.